people, 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 say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Now, people, call this channel the Black Cat Channel. And not the black cat as in sound system. However, whenever I speak about you as a suspect, as a wanted man, you can best believe that your system is going to end up behind the bars. Dovecut, your system is going to shut down completely. Now, I am speaking about a young man. His name is Oshane. O'Shane Earl, E-A-R-L-E, -E, more affectionately known in the street as Motombo. Motombo is what we call a crime producer. Motombo is what we call a plague, a pestilence, menace to society. Motombo is St. James, one of St. James, if not the most wanted, well he was the most wanted man in a St. James. Wanted for a double takeaway in a St. James. Wanted for at least 10 pie pie incidents. And what is even worse, in the late part of his career, he started to be a petty thief. He was robbing people in the neighborhood, in a quiet neighborhood. Run up in them house, home invasion with all sorts of tall up rifle. However, people, what he did not expect is that his time was going to come. So the moral of the story is this. Long run, short catch. In this cat and mouse game between criminals and poor poor, play P-U-S-S-Y, you are going to get F-U-C-K-E-D. And people, that is the case as it pertains to Motombo. His number was called. He was erased. Now remember, he is from St. James. However, he was caught in St. Elizabeth, a place called Goshen, on one of those main road. He was caught by SeaTac in a specialized operation. That means that they were tracking him. They were trailing him. A convoy of people that work with SeaTac and the rest of Paul Paul, them in the era. They trailed him. He did not know they were there. However, when them pull up on him, apparently he tried to take it to the bushes. There was also a 14-year-old girl in the car. They knew about that. That is why they did not wet up the car. However, them know say once them roll upon him, he might get bummy. He might try to run. He might try to ditch the toll because people, they also found a toll. However, when him take it to the bushes, there were some sharpshooters called them marksmen from SeaTac. That means say, these people go to the range and then make sure that whenever them scope you out, you are going to be in range. So therefore, they are going to pick out the whole of your head back and people. Such is the case. Him run to the bushes. However, people, the bullet them fall him. He was wet up, wet up very, very badly. Now, people, obviously, you know that whenever these incidents occur, I always have four videos, three videos, pictures. So, people, if you want these videos... You could WhatsApp me, 1-876-894-2711. Give your name. You want the Motombo losing his life video by SeaTac. Leave your name in a text. Do not call and even worse, don't video call me. As simple as that. Simple as one, two, three. So people, moral of the story. Long run, short catch. Now people... If you remember, I did a couple of videos about this youth. I did a video when he home invaded a family. I asked the money. A set of people that run some sorts of business. In pretty much run of the people in place with AK-47. A bus up here shot another people in house with them picnic. As a matter of fact, the lady, the mother just had a baby. She was so scared. Her daughter fall down the stairs, bus up her head. Had to do all sorts of surgery, all sorts of stitches. People, it was out. It was written in the card. He did not listen. He did not take heed when I told him, Listen, you are going to lose your life. The people am out for you. 
and this is based on conversations that I've had with people that listen. We want him so, 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 so bad. He is going to be erased. He is going to be eliminated very, very soon. Soon and very soon. And people, like I've always said, long run, short catch. In this cat and mouse game of popo and gunman, bad man, wanted man, play P-U-S-S-Y, get F-U-C-K. And people, that is the case as it pertains to this case, point blank and period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news, there was a very disturbing trend in Jamaica where a whole lot of homeless persons were getting hurt, hit in the head while they slept. At least four or five of them lost their life at the hands of some idle persons. However, the latest one is an elderly man, a homeless man. His name is Lionel Johnson. On or about the 29th of August 2022, Mr. Lionel Johnson was in Kingston when a set of men, teenagers between the ages 15 and 17, apparently they went to a service station, got some gasoline, doused Mr. Johnson with the gasoline and set him ablaze. There was a video circulating over social media. I also put this video in my WhatsApp. Mr. Lionel Johnson was walking around with all sorts of flame over his body. There were persons shouting to him, drop and, drop and roll. However, people, it seems as if the injuries were too vast. He was taken to the place of recovery. However, he succumbed to his injuries. Now, needless to say, even though Jamaica is a cold place, this type of crime takes it to the furthest extent. People were condemning Relevant authority, ministers, MS, MPs, politicians were condemning the acts of whoever was responsible. There was a 500,000 reward for anybody with any type of information leading to the arrest and possible charge and conviction of the suspect. So people, as soon as they put out the reward, you know the so people was condemning the act. So therefore, persons called the popo. The pauper gathered their information through investigation. Interviews that they had with persons in the era. And they said, you know, say, are them five youth, yeah, them five teenagers, yeah, ages 15 to 17, responsible. They were officially charged. They go to court today. Now, people, just imagine. Back in the days, you and I went to school. yes. We were mischievous. However, the stuff that we did is nothing compared to the act, the evilness, the demonic deeds of these teenagers, these new wave of vipers, we call them. What could go through somebody's head where five people sit down and thought that it was a great idea? Go at the gas station, whether them buy or thief the gasoline, me no know. Fling the gasoline upon this man, and then set matches to it. People, you know, sister, these picnic, them off the chain, don't know where their parents are, don't know what type of parental guidance they have, if any. However, people, like me say, this was a very serious and wicked act. And we hope that these picnic, ages 15 through 17, will be charged as adult and will get the full brunt of the law because people, they deserve Nothing less than that, point blank and period. Now people, the next thing that is popping in the news is that you've heard me spoken on several occasions that, listen, bad mind in Jamaica, it is prevalent. People will take you away for petty stuff. People will take you away for nothing, none at all. And even worse, people will take you away for your own stuff. Now, I am speaking about a young youth. His name is Pari. This is Pari in the picture on the screen right now. Pari is a youth. Not saying that he is legal, law-abiding person. He might have been involved in certain things. However, there is a next man that is on your screen. His name is Siobhan. Them call him chemist. Them call him Mad Bull. Parry and Chemist were once friends. 
Parry was doing whatever he was doing. Him start make money. Him start for floss. The people him start for gravitate to him. The people him start for like him. So it seems as if these two friends, some sorts of jealousy start for sure. Now based on the information, it is said that Parry was one that listen. You know, say so your own friend them a plot and a scheme for you. Your own friend them not like you. Your own friend them a plan for take you out. So therefore, maybe it would be a very good idea for you cut, cut from the scene. However, people, him come from the era, he thought he had immunity. He thought he was okay because obviously he should have been around friends. It is said that at about 6 p.m., Parry and some people were at a store, them a drink, them a talk, them just a S-H-O-O-T, the breeze, when a car rolled up. When this car rolled up, it is said that some men alighted. The target was Parry. Them blaze up half of him. It is said that after the smoke clear, Parry had at least 10 can in him head, all him eye, him tongue, Everything a B-L-E-E-D. They pretty much did him very, very bad. Now, people, based on the information, it is said that the motive, one of the motive for Parry losing his life, his own friend, friend enemy, Chevron, Mad Bull, Chemist, took his car and wanted him to run some money because them ears say him make money. So pretty much, them a repossess him car until he could pay the piper or the bully. I guess he was not having it. I guess he thought that he would have been safe because him come from the era. Him and chemists were once good friends. Whatever they were doing in the past, people, it came back to haunt him. And this youth lost his life at the hands of his ex-friend, friend turned enemy, friend K-I-L-L-E-R, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate the fact that these videos straight on point, straight on title, no beating around the bush, no sorts of buffoonery, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded persons like yourself. Point blank and period.